You're here. Ah, <sighs> the hero of the cool roots. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Draka, you lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well, that's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No! No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! Is this how you two plan to save your clan? By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it. You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has to end here. Not for once we agree. Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. Becoming commander isn't going to change what happened to the wound, Draka. If you really wanted to help your people, you wouldn't be throwing away more lives just to change who gives the orders. You really are something, Flame of the Desert. But I didn't come all this way to let things stay the way they are. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Yara. Even numbers. <sighs> Fine, old man. It's your funeral. New rules. We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. Nice knowing you, Aloy. It's over, Draka. <laughs> Not just yet. You did your best to follow the path. You die with honor. Did it have to end like that? It's the way of the desert. Well, what happens now? We live off the water the wound ekes out, rationing until it fills back up. And I'll make sure Arrowhand gets its fair share. Yeah, you'd better. The desert never forgets. And I won't either. How you've helped us, I mean. I give this to you now, for all you've done for this clan. This isn't about Draka conspiring against you, Yara. It's about your people. You lied to them about the wound. You also said their survival is all that matters. Was that a lie too? If it wasn't, then stand down. Give Draka a shot at command. 
It was no lie. Which is why I'll never hand over command to the likes of him. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Draka. Even numbers. I'll take no joy in fighting either of you. New rules! We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. It's over. <laughs> well, you're gonna make me wait around? didn't need to do that. Nicaro didn't, and Regala bit him in the ass. <sighs> okay, so... What's the plan? The wound still doesn't have enough water for everyone. I'll gather the leaders from all the desert villages. We'll figure it out. For a second there, you sounded like a real commander. Your confidence is inspiring. Here. Take this. My thanks for what you did here today. You didn't have to get involved. I won't forget what you did, Desert Flame. 